Can you Google my logo yet? Let's Eagle try the four eight. Can you please turn your mic off or something, dude? Uh. Google me. How about that? Tony Holobyte. Only dude. one in the world. Hey, if I'm here, I may as well get some shot. I don't know. No, go, go, go away. Go away. I may as well. I can't. I can't go anywhere. Can you send information through this thing here? I can just see the. Uh, oh, the don't, don't, send, don't, send, don't send me any information. You don't want to see it. You don't want the age care. You don't want it. It's just it's simple. It's like silver. No, no, no. You you should you should do it and become a trillionaire. Collodial, collodial. How do you say that word? Collodial silver. Collodial silver. Colloid. Is that the matter? How do you say colloid. it? It's a colloidal. There's no a in it. There's no a in the beginning. Colloid. It's C O L L O. The colloid. Oh. Tomato, tomato, collodial silver. Yeah, that stuff, man. Good stuff. So, what about the? Um, have you seen anything about the goats, though? The, dude, uh, dude, just stop. You're not. You're not, <laughs> you're not goat, right. It just sounds weird when you say goats. It just sounds weird when you say goats. Uh, we actually want a movie about it. All right, all right, enough, dude. It's called Which One. Uh huh. But this guy who have AIDS, like three people with AIDS. All right. Oh, sorry, I searched the wrong place. Dude, call, get your back office guys and. Uh... Maybe maybe he's gone. Yeah, I don't know if I could. This this website just stresses me out. I don't know if I could handle this anymore. He's, he's an idiot because he read a patent that he thinks cures AIDS and HIV, and he's trying to explain it to me. You're awesome. Hi. Uh, you, you previously talked about artificial intelligence. Uh, do, you, do you think you can use it for trading? Do I think? So it has, uh, I, think that, I think that, thanks for your question, obviously, but artificial intelligence has been used to dominate trading for the last 30 years, so you're a little, little late on that one. It's called quantitative investing. You might want to look it up. Alexander? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. See, I'm a I'm a fellow science major here, just like our good friend Tony, who was just on. I think that's his name. Um, but you see, I was told Tony by my teacher. Have... What's up, man? Yeah. Tony should have studied a little harder. How are you, James? <laughs> no, I'm decent. But uh, you see, like, what, what just made, okay, I mean, I get it. I get why why it's a good idea. You have, you have, you have a you question, dude. Drugs. Me? You have, no, no, Jim, I'm not talking. Get, get to the How did you get into this situation? Like, where was the where did the idea come from? That like, oh, hey, like let's take this drug that's on the market. There's no competition. Let's buy it. Let's hike up the price. Where did that idea come from? Okay, so in in business. There's um, revenue and profits, and generally, most people want to maximize those things. Um, and when you have profits, you can invest those profits to make more profits. It's the system that um, most companies are run on. But thanks for coming in and asking a great question. Joe, uh, Yuri. 
Hey, uh, my, uh, so I was just wondering, uh, when you were on the Breakfast Club, you didn't feel like uh, like slapping Charlemagne right on the spot or something? Like <laughs> He didn't act disrespectful on the radio show. He acted disrespectful on Twitter, you know, which so is either way. <laughs> classic Twitter. To, no, I mean, I, I, I thought about going back down there. Now I know where he, where he does his radio show from. <laughs> Did you see the video of him getting beat up? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen and heard many stories about him getting beat up. Hey, hey, Tom, what's up? Thanks for coming. Hey, how are you? Uh, thanks for answering. So, uh, so pyrimethamine is commonly used uh, with sulfadiazine. I'm wondering why there isn't a drug uh, that combines the two. I'm not a pharmaceutical expert by all means, but I'm wondering uh, if the man himself can answer that question. Maybe that drug will be coming soon from your favorite drug company. <laughs> and quick question. Uh, so I'm actually a medical student. And I'm learning about this right now. So how uh, effective is um, daraprim at treating brain abscesses caused by toxoplasmosis? It's not, you know, once you have an abscess, you have an abscess. It can't reconstruct the abscess, obviously. Right. So, so at that point, you think uh, surgery is best option? Depends on the, the nature of it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a drug that deprives toxoplasma of folate metabolism, right? So right. it's just good for an infection. But overall, in the pharmaceutical company, sorry, I'm taking so much of your time, but um, there's a lot of drugs that, that are effective in combination um, yep. to treat tons of infections, for example. Yep. Uh, why aren't they commonly in uh, combined in like a one dose tablet just to make it more effective? Well, it's a great question. Actually, when I started out in the industry, I thought um, for cancer, like, oh, let's combine every chemo. And the answer is usually side effects, honestly. Um, you know, it's funny when you That's add... Yeah, so when you add like, uh, they did this really, really big study of carboplatinum, which is the backbone, taxane and platinum for, for most cancers. And they added Avastin, and then they did a comparison of that versus the three plus the fourth drug called Erbitox. They did quadruplet versus triplet. And then, um, you know, they found that the side effects of the four drugs were were even though all four drugs independently are anti-cancer drugs, the side effects of the four made it actually worse survival than the three, which was pretty crazy. In terms of Daraprim for, for, uh, for cancer, I've actually, in medical school, I haven't heard of a use for it yet. We're usually, we're usually um, on different side of it, we're usually more for Daraprim using for uh, Toxo. Uh, yeah. Could you explain to me a little bit how it would act on cancer? It doesn't. Um, or like the effect? It would work Once on yeah. So pyrimethamine is a DHFR inhibitor. Humans have DHFR toxoplasma is DHFR. DHFR reduces folate. Um, so all organisms need folate metabolism to survive. So um, it's pretty much just, just damaging the cell with the with the folate, decreased folate, decreased uh, DNA yeah, essentially. Cell, no? cell death. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Purine metabolism, stuff like that. Uh, purine okay. metabolism, if you will. And uh, this question from Buffalo Roman is similar. Um, how is it dangerous? Well, this is how it's dangerous. It's a DHFR inhibitor for human enzyme as well as toxo enzyme. And in fact, that's why I think it's easy to make a better daraprim. The, the uh, human enzyme and the, the toxo enzyme are, are not homologous. They're quite different. And uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get this freaking, my guitar is tuned. Um, this blab is not working so great again. There's no lock button, et cetera. Is that I had to download have? Chrome. Just just to talk to you. <laughs> I nice. couldn't talk uh, on Safari. Yeah, I'm trying to find a better a better software platform. This is just too frustrating. This seems to be working pretty good, though. I can't lie. Just uh, minus the, a little bit. the fact that I couldn't talk on Safari. But overall, I've been having oh, no, this, this is This is really tough trying to run this right now. Because like I'm, I'd love to add another person right now, but I can't even close this comment. And it's like, what? I just got to say. Thanks a lot really quickly because it's cool talking to a, a CEO or somebody like you. I'm a medical student in Poland, actually, so it's awesome to to have somebody as accessible as you. Yeah, come here anytime. I do this every day. All uh, right, perfect. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot for uh, answering my questions. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, I think we're stuck. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, what kind of, so what kind of guitar are you using? They know each other much better. Um, <laughs> What kind of guitar is that? The Taylor. Very nice. Very nice.